The FDA is getting ready to hear arguments for Moderna and Johnson & Johnson boosters later this week. So far, Pfizer really is the furthest ahead in the booster authorization plan. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Rotana joins us with what the FDA will need to consider in its discussion. Judith. Well, the FDA is staying pretty neutral so far. They have supported Pfizer boosters for the immunocompromised and people at high risk for infection and exposure. We, see, we may see that repeated for Moderna and J&J. &J. Moderna says its booster would be half the dose of their original shot. In documents submitted to the FDA, they say it creates the same increase in protective antibodies as a full dose. But we may not have to worry about efficacy percentages or level of antibodies when we talk about protection. We can talk about shades of, of you know, protection and, you know, maybe this vaccine is slightly better when measured this way versus this other vaccine. All the ones that are out there that people are getting are effective. Moderna says a half dose would also free up more supply worldwide. But I entirely agree uh, with uh, helping us provide immunizations around the world because that protects us. Uh, by decreasing the likelihood of variants. Johnson & Johnson recommend their second shot be the same dosing. Their data to the FDA shows an increase in protection at both a two- and six-month booster mark. In briefing documents, the FDA says some studies are suggesting falling efficacy because of time or due to the Delta variant. However, they say the vaccines still afford protection against severe disease and death. Tetanus vaccines work but they don't last forever. You do have to get a booster. Flu vaccines work, although the year-to-year -year efficacy maybe isn't as high as we would like it to be, but you know, you still need to get a booster every year. Boosters are getting a lot of attention, but Moody says the focus should remain on the unvaccinated. But most of the people who are, are dying uh, or having severe disease are people who are unvaccinated, and I think the numbers are just really clear. Now, FDA documents are also showing side effects related to the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines. If you want to see what those side effects are, I do have them online in my story at CBS17.com. Judith Ratana, CBS17 News. Judith, thank you very much.